Listen, I know the Lions haven't been good historically. The Detroit Lions have completed the first non-winning season of a 16-game schedule in NFL history. Okay, they suck. But I've been a Lions fan my entire life. I sat through the Scott Mitchell era, the Joey Harrington era, and the Matt Millen decade of misery, as I like to call it. F Matt Millen. They ruined the careers of two of the greatest athletes the NFL had ever seen. Every time they put themselves in a position to succeed, they fail. Time and 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 time again. We know about all their failures, the curse of Bobby Lane, Matt Millen, F Matt Millen. So are the Lions cursed? Now watching a Lions game is already difficult enough. What the f And I know what you're saying. Well stop being fans of the team, dumbass. And you're right. But let me tell you why you're wrong. I've been in this one-sided relationship, arguing with my family, arguing with my friends, and telling both to kiss my ass. And I'll be damned if I leave and let them win a Super Bowl without my support. Is that, is that Stockholm Syndrome? But we'll never see that if this stuff keeps happening. Get in there. Defender may have gotten there a little bit early. It's gonna come late. Here it comes. Towards there it is. Coming there. But uh, again, where? Now some Packers fans and those cynical Lions fans are gonna say, well, what about them not converting field goals into touchdowns? And to that, I say, you. The Lions are the only team in the NFL where if they lose on some bullshit, the fans say, well, they should have played a perfect game. They shouldn't have to play a perfect game to win in the NFL. It's hard enough already. If anything, the Lions are owed at least seven more makeup calls. Don't believe me? What about this time in the Silver Dome when it got so loud in anticipation of Barry Sanders breaking 2,000 yards in a season that Neil O'Donnell got to evoke some stupid ass rule where the Jets didn't have to run a play because it was too loud? If the noise persists, the defense will be charged with a timeout. Or what about this clear tackle on Justin Forsett? Here they go with Forsett. He didn't think he was down, and he's still going, and the officials are acting like it's still a lot. And that was the day that everybody learned that you can't challenge an already reviewed play. Then there was this gem. Not only did they botch the initial call, they ruined the opportunity for us to try and win the game because of a 10 second runoff. Another one of my favorite heartbreaking plays happened when Cam Chancellor punched this ball out from Megatron at the one yard line. Yeah, Megatron cost us a game, crazy, right? But this was an illegal bat where the Lions were supposed to get the ball back. Yeah, so you can't bat the ball in any direction in the end zone, either end zone. So KJ Wright batted the football, that is a foul for an illegal bat. The refs didn't know the rules that day. The miracle in Motown where Aaron Rodgers threw that Hail Mary was kind of on the Lions. I mean, it's a part of their ineptitude. Like, how do you let a Hail Mary happen? How? Who, what was this guy doing in the flats? Can somebody please tell me who designed that Hail Mary defense? Why are you in the flats? Anyway, the play before they called a face mask. Devin Taylor, I don't know, did they get the face mask? The official would visit the Lions training camp the following season and say, I think it was an illegal tackle, horse collar, face mask. I think it was an illegal tackle. I'm very comfortable with it. Then the worst two calls in Detroit Lions history the process rule, because nobody knows what a catch is anymore. It appears to be a game-winning touchdown catch for Calvin Johnson. The ball comes loose, as you can see it. When Calvin goes down, it is ruled an incomplete pass. Logically, if you catch the ball, control it, and break the plane, it's a touchdown. But because Megatron marked some bum-ass Bears defensive backs and celebrated a second too early, it cost the Lions the game. Then, this garbage here. Looks like he's face guarded by the Dallas Cowboys. Flag on the play. They picked up the flag. They picked up the flag. They picked up the fucking flag. Worst call in history. So maybe the Lions aren't cursed. Maybe the NFL just absolutely hates the Detroit Lions. One thing's for sure though, Matt Miller. Matt Miller. Matt Miller.